Hi, my name is Anand Abraham. I'm an application engineer with GE Grid Automation. Today in this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade a Platform 3 UART Relay to a Platform 7 by replacing just the modules in the chassis. So before we begin, make sure you have power disconnected and you're following all of your company's safety uh, procedures and policies before you do, do any type of retrofit. So the first thing we're going to do is open the door of this relay. And so we're going to remove the modules that are in this chassis and we're going to replace them with uh, the new versions platform 7 modules that we've received. Uh, we're going to keep the existing terminal blocks in place um, and so first thing we're going to do is remove the modules. You open the tabs and you slide the modules out. So I'm going to set them aside here. This is a CPU module. I'm going to disconnect the RJ45 cable from the front panel and then I'm going to pull the module out. If you're going to replace your power supply on this style of relay, it's a basic style relay with a basic style front panel, you're going to have to remove the front panel in order to access the, uh, the power supply. So the way you do that is you open the door about 120 degrees and you give it a slight tap from the bottom and it just pops out of the hinge. I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to remove the power supply module. Now on the back of the relay, um, the only change you're going to have to make is remove the terminal block for the CPU because the new, depending on the type of CPU you get, it will be different. Um, so this is the one that we're going to use, looks like. So we're going to do that on the back of the relay. So we're going to remove the four screws that hold these two blocks in place. Just keep in mind that the long, there are longer screws on the top and the slightly shorter screws on the bottom. The new terminal block that we received replaces both of those Positions. I'm going to have to remove this one as well. This is a blanking plate. So once you've removed those six screws, I'm going to put the new terminal block in place and secure it with four screws. So now that we have our new CPU ter terminal block installed, we can uh, flip the chassis around and insert the new modules into the into this chassis. So I'm going to start with left to right, power supply module on the left. Next goes our CPU. So if it's not in the track, it's not going to go in. So make sure you have the module in the track. Um, once it's in place, it'll close and lock it. Now for the remaining modules, as long as you're replacing like for like, um, the terminal, existing terminal block will, will fit perfectly. But if you're making any changes to your application and you need a different type of module, then you're going to have to uh, make some adjustments to the, the terminal block. So once you have the new uh, modules in place. We're going to reattach our existing front panel or if you wish to upgrade you can do so as well. 
But in this case, we're going to put the existing front panel on. So it, it clips in place as a hinge and it so you kind of have to swing it back and it'll it'll lock in place on the little clips, the top and the bottom. Once that's done, you can connect back the CPU module. And the grounding clip for the front panel. And then we can close our door. And that concludes our video on updating the modules within the chassis. Thank you.